morning everybody. So I am in a city in British Columbia called White Rock. And I'm here tonight photographing a building. So I'm going to do some architectural photography. So what you'll notice if I have my uh, tripod not quite set up yet, so I'm going to set that up initially. So here we go. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm standing on the sidewalk here, so I'm trying to make sure that I don't have the legs sitting in the, in the street. Or in the walkway. <laughs> so, um, get this off. And I'm going to actually extend the center column, which is something that I spoke about in some of our previous videos. But I do have, of course, my uh, I do have my trusty cable release with me. So I'm going to potentially I'm going to extend the center column. Because this is what I'm trying to photograph. That big building up there is the shoot that I'm busy doing. I, I'm shooting here during, uh, well right now the sun is setting so it's kind of golden hour. But um, I'm going to be shooting that building during the blue hour and making sure that uh, I get some really nice shots of it. Um, I'll give you some examples of that. Uh, I don't really need my flash but I might use it just to pop some some light onto the uh, the windows and the scene here you it might work might not um, I have my uh, wide angle lens on over here um, but the cable release and I'm gonna probably extend the uh, the center column to get a bit of a bigger shot and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my camera into portrait mode and I'm going to do a, a panoramic in portrait mode um, that's quite important because one of the ways that I can get the length of this building and the street scene is in uh, portrait mode. So I'm going to do a, probably about five or six shots down the street in that, in that format. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is um, the screen on the back of my camera. I am now sitting at uh, 100, 1 one hundredth of a second f11 now for this kind of shooting i want to be at a probably about f15 f16 somewhere there to make sure i'm getting nice depth of field but my shutter is going to be obviously much much slower so i'm going to need my my cable release and if you have a look at the screen there on live view you can see that it's fairly dark right now so i'm going to bring that right down i'm pushing up my f16 my aperture up to f16 and I'm going to bring that down to one eighth of a second so you're going to see I'm going to need a fair amount of uh, slow shutter time to make sure that I get a really good shot here. what that's going to do as well is it's going to help me uh, blur the, the traffic huh. as you can see I have buses going in front of me so I've got to time it really carefully um, I'm going to do a longer shutter speed so my shutter is going to stay open for longer um, and what I'm going to also do is I am going to time it really carefully when there's as few cars as possible so that I can get a clean street scene the client wants me to have a street scene but with as minimal cars in it as possible so that, that's feasible um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch like I said I'm going to do a panoramic stitch so I'm going to do a few uh, probably five or six shots down the street and um, I'm going to stitch those together afterwards in Photoshop so my timing has got to be careful I've got to use my, my cable release to make sure that I don't introduce any shake. I'm a little precarious here as you can see. I've got my center column extended and I've got the camera on its side. So it's going to be really easy to introduce shake into the shot. So I'm going to have to make sure that everything is settled down before I, I take shots. Um, should be interesting. Uh, the, night, the evening light is looking good so here we go. So this is the uh, other view of the side of the building that I want to photograph. And this makes an interesting foreground interest right here. Uh, we've got a really nice sweeping glass frontage, nice uh, lighting there. And of course up there is the building. So it's going to be an interesting shot. Um, 
yeah, I might actually do, again, maybe do a panoramic to try and get all of this in and get that whole feel, that whole view in there. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll let you know in the final video what I come up with, but I think it's going to probably be a, probably a three or four shot panoramic. Um, the lighting is starting to look really, really nice. It's softening up really nicely. We've got some very gentle blue coming through bit of a nice glow on the building so that's really important and uh, yeah the lighting is gonna look good so let's see what it looks like okay so <laughs> we as you can see the street lights have come on and um, the sun has started to set which is great we are now technically in what is called the blue hour and the blue hour is that half an hour after the sun has set when the lights come on in the city but your sky still looks blue if you look at the glow on the building now it's really looking good um, beautiful soft light on the building blue sky behind it and the lights coming on and that's that's really a great time to be photographing um, architectural buildings and um, the idea here is that we're gonna I'm gonna continue shooting until it gets just a little darker so that uh, I can really get some dramatic shots and then afterwards in Photoshop you start pushing and pulling that contrast and really makes the images pop um, so I, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the results I think it's gonna be a lot of fun um, I think I'm gonna get some great shots here tonight the sky is looking just perfect and the setup is good I'm gonna show you the results in in the video um, and then afterwards I'll show you how I edited them so uh, thanks for joining me again course and uh, I'm glad that uh, I could bring you on on location again with me and particularly on a, on a client shoot which is something that's always a lot of fun and uh, particularly with architectural photography it's not uh, the key thing in, in architectural photography is, is getting lines straight and you'll see when I do the edit it's not always possible so Photoshop is really really important when you manage to uh, uh, bring those lines up straight it really makes a big difference in Photoshop so this is the final shot of the evening um, I'll show you what I'm looking at in my uh, viewfinder well on my live view here right now so that's the shot um, and if you actually have a look and I'm using a GoPro right now that that's what I'm looking at it's it's fairly dark right now so the Sun is basically set we're pretty much in the blue hour we have probably a few more minutes left before it becomes totally dark but uh, I'm really happy with the results and I think we'll be uh, seeing how, how the Photoshop works. Um, it's going to really blow this out, it's going to look fantastic. I, uh, I'm really happy with the results. I think this shot is going to be probably one of the better shots. Um, the lighting is really good, uh, the sky is coming nice and rich and uh, the street lights just add that bit of pop and that's what I look for whenever I do architectural shots. Now what I'm doing is a little bit of... Um, getting the car's lights coming through which uh, also is is kind of uh, adds a little bit of drama to the shot adds a little bit of context to the shot but uh, it's it's really something that uh, is personal choice so I'm gonna give the clients a few options I'm gonna give them some of the scene without cars in the shot some of the scene with with car lights coming through in the shot um, and see what what they decide to use so I always kind of do that I give them a few different options um, I edit the shots a little differently. I give them three or four different shots edited, some being warmer, some being a little uh, cooler, so more blues, others being more warm. So I kind of give them a few choices to choose from, depending on what their brochures uh, look like. And uh, so the next step now is I'm going to take a couple more shots, um, get ready to, to go. But uh, after this, I will show you what I do in Photoshop to make these images look really great. And uh, so once again, thanks for joining me. I, uh, I really appreciate it and uh, hope you learned something and we'll chat soon.